Oh hello, it's Emily and today I'm going to be talking about the books that I'm excited about that are coming out in the second half of the year and I talked about them very briefly in my mid-year uh, book freakout tag so I'll be sure to link that below as well um, but I really just wanted to take a little bit more time to actually talk about these books, actually give a release date um, so I just want to make a separate video about that to talk a little bit more about those specifically and I don't have a ton of time to film, so this is going to be a little bit rushed, um, but I still wanted to go ahead and get it filmed anyway. So um, the first one, I'm filming this actually slightly after a couple of the July ones have come out, but I'm still, I'm still excited about them, so I want to talk about them. So July 7th, um, A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor by Hank Green just came out. And this one follows an absolutely remarkable thing, which follows April, May as she discovers on her way home one day from work super late she discovers um, this statue in the middle of New York City um, does a video in front of it posts it on the internet uh, realizes that there have been it, the same statue just kind of suddenly appeared in cities all across the world and so she becomes kind of the ambassador to um, these they're called the Carl <laughs> um, and so Carl is kind of what these statues end up being called. She becomes kind of the ambassador to these Carls. Um, and so it's kind of an exploration of like that first contact, weird things start happening. Um, I love the first book and I'm very excited to continue. July 7th, also Loveless is being published by Alice Oseman. I haven't actually read any Alice Oseman. I think it follows an asexual main character um, and I am just intrigued to read it. Um, there's also so July 28th, there's The Faithless Hawk by Margaret Owen, and this one follows The Merciful Crow, and that was the one that I actually enjoyed quite a bit, um, and I heard mixed things, but I, I definitely quite enjoyed that one, especially kind of as the story kept going, and follows a super interesting world where teeth are used for magic, and there are different caste systems that are kind of... Um, that are named based on different birds and so she's a crow, the main character is a crow which is kind of the lowest class uh, but they're the ones that are immune to to kind of a disease like thing that's that goes around and so they're tasked with kind of retrieving the bodies uh, of these people and one day she and her father and their kind of cast, their kind of group of people um, go to the palace to retrieve the prince and um, one of this prince's, um, I think, guards, and um, turns out they're not actually dead, they just wanted to be smuggled out um, of the palace because he was convinced that his stepmom was going to kill him, and the story kind of goes from there of these crows kind of protecting or kind of having an uneasy truce with the prince and his bodyguard um, to kind of prevent war <laughs> and prevent, you know, conflict um, from happening between different groups of people and prevent um, crows from being further targeted and so I thought it was a super interesting story with just like a different kind of magic system and just like a unique world so I'm intrigued about that one coming out. Um, August 18th we have The Nobleman's Guide to Scandals and Shipwrecks and this follows the Matayu, or this is the third one in the Matayu sibling series. There's also a novella um, and I just adored this entire series. I don't even know who this story follows. Um, among the cast of characters. I don't even know who it follows, but I'm excited about it because I've adored the other two books. Um, August 18th also has uh, Vicious Spirits, which follows The Wicked Fox, or is the second book after The Wicked Fox. And this one I thought was just an interesting story. It, it follows a, a half gamijo, half human, half gamijo, and a gamijo is like a nine-tailed fox that feeds off of the energy of people and so she feeds off of the energy of like, bad men <laughs> and that's how she feeds um, and she loses a bead through kind of meeting another through meeting the love interest um, she loses her bead that kind of gives her her power and keeps her alive and so she needs to retrieve it she goes on this adventure um, to kind of, or she's just like trying to figure out how she can get her bead back. Anyway, I thought it was a super interesting story. I'm excited to read the next one. August 25th, so this was actually originally going to come out in June, but I think it was pushed back to August 25th, is Where Dreams Descend. And I don't remember the author's name, but I'll put a picture here. 
and all I've heard is that this is uh, Moulin Rouge meets Phantom of the Opera and I'm sold and intrigued. Um, September 22nd we're getting Well Played which is Jen DeLuca's second book after uh, Well Met and it follows so I think this is going to be a companion set of novels and the first one follows Emily and Simon and Emily is helping taking care of her sister and her niece after her sister is in a car accident um, and she ends up volunteering to be part of this renaissance fair to help her niece out and she ends up falling in love and I think this one follows the other person who was a bar wench at this run fair and follows her love story if I'm not mistaken. I absolutely adored Well Met so I'm hoping that I will really really also love Well Played. And September 29th is Naomi Novik's new book um, is coming out called A Deadly Education. This is a dark academia fantasy story about um, a group of people who are at the school where if you don't graduate and you don't like succeed at the school then you die. Don't really know much else. Um, I, I liked Spinning Silver a lot and I, I haven't read Uprooted but I really enjoyed Spinning Silver and I'm just super interested to <laughs> read whatever else Naomi Novik comes out with. So that one is going to be super interesting. October 1st is Stuart Turton's new book. He wrote The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and his next book is The Devil in the Dark Water um, and this one just sounded super interesting. I'll put the tagline, I'll see if I can edit in a picture as well as the tagline. I'm not recalling it at the moment um, but the tagline just super drew me in and I'm very excited for the story uh, and that's coming out October 1st. October 6th um, the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab is coming out and this follows a girl who made a deal essentially for immortality but the cost is that no one actually remembers her after they meet her. So that sounds super interesting. Um, November 12th, Ruth Ware is coming out with her new book and that is One by One and it follows a group of co-workers who I think they're going for some sort of like co-worker retreat to kind of get to know each other better um, or kind of like a team building retreat out in I think they're in the mountains like maybe it's a ski resort if I'm not mistaken and shenanigans happens and they need to survive I, I don't know I just know it's the new Ruth Ware book and I'm gonna listen to it on audio and I, I think Imogene Church is gonna narrate this one too so love her and I actually recently learned about this next one coming out. I had no idea this was going to be a thing and then I recently saw either on Twitter or Instagram that uh, Ernest Klein is going to come out with Ready Player 2 on November 24th. I really enjoyed Ready Player 1. There are some problematic things in that book but I really enjoyed so many elements of that book. I also really enjoyed Will Wheaton's narration of Ready Player 1. I'm hoping he'll do the second one as well. I have no idea what's gonna happen with the rest of this story or how he's gonna continue it, but I'm very intrigued that this is going to be a thing. Um, so those are some books that I'm excited about for the second half of the year. Let me know if you are interested in any of these or what you're anticipating for the second half of the year um, in terms of releases. I'll be sure to link my Twitter and Instagram down below. That's where I like to hang out. I will also, of course, continue to link how you can support the Black Lives Matter movement, so be sure to check out those links below as well and subscribe for more bookish content and I will see you in the next one. Bye!